So I will show you this one in a little bit. And um, let me just show you the back as well. There's lots of ribbon on the bottom here um, that I used and burlap on the top. Um, the closure is uh, muslin and uh, black ribbon. And I sew them together so that it's a little bit uh, stronger to use because like I said, it's a quite a thick journal and uh, you need something pretty strong to um, hold it together. So I'm um, going to start um, here with the beginning and um, we do um, have a double hinged uh, page here and here is the uh, invitation um, for the reunion and a little map that uh, uh, she has kept uh, with a little bit of extra space for writing of course it's a journaling card and it's a map of Georgia and um, over here uh, we have a little uh, round tag and as well over here is her uh, badge that she uses in the oven, in the coven. I'm sorry, not the oven, the coven. <laughs> Anyways, um, and uh, this is an authentic postcard that she has kept. So she keeps a lot of uh, collections in this book. Um, this one has these beautiful trees on there and uh, a beautiful stamp as well. I think it's from the 1920s or 1930s. And so just a uh, paper clip or... or clip things um, in here that she will use. So this one um, here is uh, Charlotte in this pocket and um, a little wreath that goes with this. And I gave you a clip and you can put it somewhere else as well. And then a tag up here. And also in the back of this, as you uh, turn it, you have a picture of uh, Charlotte. This is an authentic a photograph when she was a baby and there she is now and over here um, we have another authentic photograph that she has kept uh, looks like a uh, falls and some nature uh, something that she loves with a little bit of a snippet here and an actual uh, negative and you can put that to the light and see what that one's all about on the next page uh, we have a little uh, apothecary um, like a little binder or booklet. It does uh, have this um, beautiful collage on here and then you open it up and it has some um, stamped up and so on uh, writing space in the front and in the back as well. It goes this way and then just uh, paper clip it back together. And here's a little tag in it with this um, uh, beautiful fibers. And I put the fibers, uh, fabric, uh, ribbons all over the book a little bit of ledger here and a snippet over here i'm sorry i'm trying to get this i don't have quite a good setup here yet um a snippet over here and then a journaling card and um some beautiful um a pink uh, flower here and this beautiful sari a little bit of a trim a little bit shiny and a little bit red she does like red so i did include red quite a bit over here we have um, another authentic postcard with uh, flowers or herbs that uh, she will um, keep for reference. And um, over here is a little uh, pocket. It says conjure on it and then a little notebook and a little tag there. And this paper is all um, beautifully crunched up, uh, coffee dyed and eco dyed all together, stamped up and so on. Here we have a double ribbon as well and then here is charlotte and um she's uh with some of her classmates uh from before of course it's a journaling card and you can write on the back more about uh plants then here's um articles that she's interested in interested in um to read about witchcraft and um uh, different unusual things over here i did uh, stamp this up with a little tree branch uh, a little bit um, botanical and then here it says Charlotte uh, with this very pretty um, uh, fabric and uh, ribbon uh, snippet and then I put a little uh, bead bobble on here now this is a page that pulls out it is about her gazebo uh, she like I said she lives in Georgia uh, her family is well off so they do have um, a very nice house and this is her gazebo where she might keep her herbs and so on so let's stamp it up so you can also write on it and i put an authentic authentic uh, postage uh, stamp and in the back too there's some more information and over here is a, a see-through pocket and i gave you some uh, ribbon and some papers and so on 
to write on, which I like to um, include now, just as a way of uh, where you can uh, glue these things um, in your own way, wherever you might want to put it in the journal, as opposed to me gluing everything down. So over here is the um, envelope with uh, authentic uh, postage stamp. And inside here as well, I have a flower and then um, this one says phases, uh, two journaling cards. Over here are symbols, uh, rune symbols and so on that uh, might be used in um, uh, telling a fortune or um, witchcraft uh, in some way. Now over here is, um, uh, this is also a sari silk with, uh, with some beads on here and if you turn it over, there's a pocket and then if you pull it out, there is a little a circle of seven notebook and just a little bit of extra space. So these are butterfly wings and I put a butterfly uh, wing in the middle as well. So there are, there are some secret spots if you want to uh, put some secret messages there as well. Here um, we have the circle and then I cover this up because it is a skull and it's a little bit more gruesome and so on. And uh, I put a more snippet over here and just cover it up a little bit. And you can write on top as well. Over here is a fabric pocket. It's beautiful. It's actually, um, it was like a fabric sample. And there's different kinds of these lines, different colors. And this is a beautiful red and gold uh, with this uh, beautiful charm of leaf on here. So inside here um, we have, um, this is our house. And... I love it that it's got uh, lots of windows and it has an upper uh, porch here and as well as a bottom porch. So this is, you know, back in the 1930s or so, 1940s. So this is um, authentic also, this postcard. And then uh, this seems uh, very, it's a very similar uh, house um, that I found in an in a, like an atlas or map uh, book, uh, vintage. And so I just included that. Uh, now you might not be able to read this because it might be in Croatian or Czechoslovakian. I'm not sure exactly. So anyhow, um, I did uh, stamp up some leaves of here, up here. And then over here, I, act I used actual fabric um, that is um, coffee stained. And it has this um, beautiful ribbon and uh, lace on the bottom. And then ribbon on the side as well. In the middle, I have um, Amy Joy Studios, which I, I love her images that are... Um, the uh, gypsy fortune teller images. So I use this um, in the middle and uh, put some beads inside. And then here is a little bit of a, a journaling card. I put this uh, together. This is from my own uh, digital kit um, that I just kind of started making because, well, I have been making them for years and years, but I haven't actually made them into anything that I really truly needed. Um, so I now started more to do with the theme of what I'm doing. Um, so this one is uh, uh, journaling cards here as well with uh, some of the um, squared paper there. And then this beautiful uh, coffee dye. Now this is um, the same as you can tell, but this is a notebook and it has this snippet uh, with this uh, beautiful bead on top. And it, you have some paper inside too right on and then some uh, stamping here and this beautiful lace pocket just uh, to complement uh, both sides over here i did a little bit of stenciling and put the circle and then um, here is a little bit of a, a fabric sample with some stamping underneath and then um, this collage it's very intricate this one um you do have to look at it quite a bit and i do enjoy things like this where you have to sort of you don't see whether right what it's about you have to look at each image and um see that there there is a witch in there with her pointy hat and um there is a skeleton on the bottom and it says moon and there's laces and there's like different little things in there that you have to take a bit of time to look at so i enjoy when i um am going through a, a new journal i enjoy looking at the very different uh, things with um, maybe ma many messages inside. So anyways, um, here is a little bit more symbols and uh, envelope with another envelope inside and a, a bit of a journaling card. This is a pullout as well. 
and well, it pulls up many times. Um, probably can't see it all, but if I put it this way. So here um, I did stamp it up and uh, put a little bit of um, extra uh, paper and a little bit covered up. You can write on the back or write underneath. And over here as well, um, just information about the, the chili peppers, it looks like. And, and over here, I did some more of the um, tree branch uh, painting. And I used this uh, uh, this tape here, that green tape that you, you know, use for electricity and so on. I used it here because, well, I like it. And also, I use uh, the brown packing tape and so on. Over here, a little bit more in a red tab on the top. A little bit of an um, article, an image that she has kept. And then um, here is a little um, deer, I think. And I, might, I don't know if I missed uh, showing you something else here. Anyways, um, so another page here uh, with a belly band, but I left it open for you. And um, this one has uh, the circle on it, and it has a little notebook uh, with this interesting image from the graphics fairy and on the side is a, a fabric uh, from a sari silk and um, all coffee dye paper I did try to give you some blank pages because uh, most of the most of the pages are used up so um, here we have a clock circle of seven Charlotte and then um, this beautiful tag with um, all these uh, French uh, ribbon here or um, tassel and then you can write on the back, but in the front is, again, filled with different uh, things. And this one's with the tree, including a burlap and so on. So this is the um, double-hinged uh, page of the first signature. It has a large journaling card here uh, with this beautifully uh, crunched up blue uh, paper. It's eco dyed uh, with a purple cabbage, but it comes out blue somehow. And over here, um, we have uh, Charlotte's family. Her, um, looks like her sister maybe, and her mother, uh, Laura. And um, this is uh, her when she was uh, little. These are Tim Holtz uh, figures that uh, I wanted to use up and because I have a few of them. So it fits perfectly into this pocket and I just put a little, she put a little bit of a ribbon to keep them together. A little bit of collage here. And over here is a notebook underneath here and this uh, beautiful ribbon and of a journaling card. This is a, a page that comes out. It belongs to the uh, second signature, but it does come out and it has a memory spell. So I did find a spell on the internet and I put it on here. But it's not really a spell book. I mean, you can write your own spells or potions or so on. Um, but this is the only spell in the book. And in the back is a pocket, and I give you some more papers that you can use, uh, either for collaging or for um, writing on. So this one, uh, the second signature, is this um, beautiful green here and a pentagram underneath the flower that I collaged here. And it has this beautiful black ribbon that uh, fringes over um, the rest of the book. And then inside here, I don't know what this eye is, but I thought it might be like the eye of Newt. I don't even know what an eye of Newt is, but it just seemed to uh, really match the color. And then uh, some more, a little bit journaling like cards and a little bit fibers and little pieces that you can put elsewhere. And then on this owl image, uh, with a cat, black cat. So I don't know what I've uh, newt is. So over here on the next page, we have a collage here, and it says which on the bottom. And then over here, it's an envelope. It's fabric. It's uh, cotton on the outside, with this cute little uh, leaf, a paper clip, and a little bit from a, a fortune telling card. And it just comes out like that. And then uh, it, it just giving you more here of uh, writing space and this beautifully collaged um, journaling card. So in the back is uh, an image uh, from the New York Public Library uh, of the Salem Witch Trials. So this is something that uh, Charlotte uh, keeps as a reference and um, 
likes to uh, read about it to see what's happened in the past. And uh, here is a little charm and a map of Georgia with this um, pentagram, uh, very intricately done with also painting. Sorry, my camera is moving. Um, and then a large uh, journal card with more in the back. And this is from some kind of a science book or math book or something. More collaging over here too. And a, a couple of uh, small, one black um, tag fabric over here. More about flowers and double ribbons. Another article about witches, and then a collage and then my own from my own digi kit here. Here's a, a pocket uh, from an envelope, and then more of the different things uh, here that I've attached uh, just to make it look more grungy and so on. A little bit of a map on the bottom, and um, you know, you can stick something else in it, doesn't really matter. But I did leave it for you to fill up. So, over here is a little um little clip and you can just add something more to this this one says seven here i stamped it up and it says seven right here as well then over here is a, a map and um a little bit more of the uh little bits that uh, you can put in different uh, places this one says fire and so on so as well there. this one uh comes out another one of those uh, long pages and um, it does have the pentagram, which I made up from tree branches and uh, photographed. And it does have, um, this is the uh, symbol for altar. And it has, look at this, uh, some headless statues here. Uh, just something unusual that I find. And um, I figured that Charlotte would like to keep it in her journal. Then uh, here's an authentic uh, postcard from maybe some trip that she's been to. And on the back of this, is a little bit more of the uh, unusual images and then um, this is also from my uh, digikit that I printed on vellum paper and then put it on here so you can see writing through as well and over here I just stamped up a little bit and also another image um, that might be interesting to Charlotte a little bit of um, a collage here and over here as well, there's owls here. There's a squirrel. I love squirrels. Squirrel in this one and a little bug of some sort. And um, here she kept a letter that she received from someone. And um, it's quite old. You can still write on the back. It is the uh, softer butter paper. But you can still write on the back of this one. And then an envelope here. And inside, um, this is grungy. It's really just for hearing the sound effect of it because I filled it up with a little bit and now it's a little bit puffy and so on and um, you can just, uh, you can still write on it probably with marker. Over here is uh, coming up to the middle and then we have a cloth and this one's a little bit more um, rugged, a little bit more uh, used maybe uh, with uh, symbols on it. And inside is the Amy Joy um, image and then on this side, I have um, a little bit of uh, maybe sometimes she looks at the stars or her mother may have looked at the stars because that's her mother. This is an authentic uh, postcard, so I have quite a few in here. Uh, her mother, Laura, and um, perhaps they were looking at stars together. With this. And on the other pocket, um, a little bit more. I kind of covered her up, but it's... Uh, Charlotte just looking at herself in the mirror getting ready for maybe night out or maybe she's casting a spell and then over here is another little article also about witchcraft and so on so she um, is keeping a lot of this uh, for reference here and whatever she might be interested in and um, more of the symbols here and over here an envelope um, over here we have a rhubarb uh, pudding an authentic um, old recipe card and here is a pocket that I left for you and there's a, a charm here that says listen collage and uh, fabric and you know lots of fibers and so on on top just so you can see what it looks like over here 
And uh, over here, this uh, page comes up. It says Coven here and Seven. And comes up and has um, some more tags, which I uh, put together here. And you can write on this one, this beautiful um, blue. And then the other ones are just for you to look at with uh, moths. On the back, we have uh, an image here uh, from my digit kit. And then I put a little bit together. And then on the bottom, it says ceremony. And a little bit stamping over here. And a little yellow ribbon. And a map here with a little bit of these things with a pocket and then little bits that you can use somewhere else. A large um, journaling tag over here. And then uh, a lot of the um, art also is um, just something that I like to see. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything per se, but just has to look vintage so any piece of paper that looks vintage is good with me <laughs> but anyhow uh here's a little pocket that says ritual and like this one too i don't know i love just the way the coffee uh came out and a little bit of cheesecloth and some of the uh, painting with black in it and a little bit of writing some notes that she does and so on this one says conjure on the top and then more bottom another article here and about plants and this uh, little bead over here, it's really a button, but it kind of went together with these flowers. Then on this one is another um, large uh, journaling card or page that you can pull out. And it even opens up here as well. And I stamped up a little bit in there with a fabric sample, a little bit of the mat. You can write right around it. That might be some formulas that she's keeping. Oh, but here's a pocket that you can fill up and then uh, a little bit more of um, collaging down here then over here is um, um, collage lots of collaging because uh, that's what I do the collage pretty well everything it says coven and then and this is my digital collage and more from the um, witch trials and so on uh, a bead over here and then this um, beautifully um, collaged paper here with some ribbon and so on different fibers I like to use different fibers very tactile and so on and um, this is an empty uh, spell card you can write your own spell in this one it uh, has a nice spooky looking house on it and some birds and maybe they're building a nest and then in the back you have a pocket with some papers so on this, um, another double hinged uh, page here. And in the front, uh, we have this beautiful butterfly, a little bit of a, a journaling card and a card here as well. And a tag, uh, it's a three part tag. So this one uh, says air, and then this one says spells, and this one says circle of seven and Charlotte. So. Each one has a, a little bit something different on it, but on the back, um, you can write over each one. So, and this goes uh, back in here. Let me see. There we go. And then uh, in the back, a little uh, black tag, more collaging. And then over here, there's um, beautiful flower uh, cardstock and then an envelope. You can put something in and just some writing paper. Over here, I um, have a symbol and a little, just a little flip out with paper. And then this is uh, cotton over top with uh, some ribbon that kind of matched here the flower, the symbols, and this uh, beautiful sorry, silk uh, piece. And then um, lots of lots of fibers on top as well. And um, this is a, a beautiful page too. Look at this. Uh, it's um, skulls over here on this uh, fabric and uh, web and a little journaling card. And this beautifully uh, coffee stained uh, paper just uh, turned out wonderful. And over here is uh, from my um, digital collage. And then I sewed up the lines where they actually are. And uh, you can, if you go over it, you can feel them. And here's a bit digital uh, stamping. And over here is an envelope and has a little bit of a pullout. 
Uh, this is uh, an image of a very old lady, uh, you know, said to be a witch. And then um, over here you have some uh, little paper and on it it says, I have you when she smiled. I really, I, I pick anything, any phrase in a book that kind of um, uh, says anything to me and then I will uh, use it over here. I'm just gonna paper clip this back and on the back um, we have a little bit more here. It's just a snippet that you can put elsewhere, elsewhere and um, with a little bit of flower collaging and you can write on that. And um, just some paper to write on. Um, double, double ribbon here with this beautiful uh, flower and then a pentagram. And uh, another general card, but a pocket. You can put something there. This is Circle of Seven Charlotte here as well. And then um, this beautiful flower here um, comes right, I put it right across kind of diagonally because, well, just for something different. And anyways, it, uh, it was such a large piece that I had to also tie over in the back. Uh, but I wanted to include it because it just, well, it went with the rest of the um, colors in here as well. So Edith Holden. Uh, flower page, book page, and then an authentic uh, postage stamp, and this is a printout of um, something unusual anyways, and then a journaling card inside. Over here as well, black fibers and so on. And over here, a little witch and her bird, and um, another article about witches. So I'm going to have to finish this like this, uh, filming with one hand and turning pages with the other because uh, my camera fell so many times. I think, I don't know, something broke and I don't know, I just don't have a good setup just yet. I'm not in my workshop. I'm still in my new house uh, uh, where I really don't have a proper place. So over here, um, we have something unusual um, that Charlotte has kept. And over here are some pockets with um, three different uh, little uh, snippets that she has kept and over here I think maybe um, these are warlocks they seem to be I think there's six but anyways this might be their partners eventually one day or something and uh, it is a pocket that um, you can also put something into and then um, this is the middle of the third signature it is the um, this beautiful uh, cloth uh, fabric sample with the ribbon on top and then um, the middle with the beads and there is uh, Charlotte she's uh, making her potions and inside um, here uh, we have, uh, this is her family. Again, this is a mother and father and her brother, Josh, and uh, a little bit of um, witch trials. Journaling card. And over here as well, uh, a little envelope with journaling cards and uh, a little bit of a... And the next page, this is the other side of the fabric, this beautiful fabric. And then over here, I did find some unusual uh, statue and I left the write up on it. And in the back are rocks, yeah, but I put a little bit here to write on. And uh, a little bit of more of uh, collaging and um, fibers and so on. And uh, here's Charlotte. And she's uh, making her potion here, just a little bit, a uh, journaling card of the uh, picture from the front. Let's see if I can actually put it back. <laughs> there we go. And then a um, little bit of an uh, envelope here, and inside it has uh, one of those um, old, old um, playing cards. It is, it, it is a copy that I made from the original. A little bit more about um, nature here, a little bit of a write-up, and... Um, this is the other side of um, that diagonally uh, placed uh, collage and uh, another um, pocket here from a tag. It has a bird on it and so on. And a uh, double uh, ribbon here with this um, beautiful image. And a little bit of a flip out. And another um, envelope here with, uh, it does have a, so over here is a, a little uh, notebook. Um, that has um, pages to write on as well as a little bit of flowers in the middle. It says uh, over here, simple circle casting. So um, perhaps you can put some spells in there, some uh, recipes for a potion. 
a little bit of uh, digital stamping and from my digital kit on this side and then over here is um, that fabric with the skulls on it and a little bit more writing paper there and then over here is a snippet says so witchcraft this beautiful sari silk and rune symbols and um, this is a happy new year um, card that maybe her parents got but um, she liked it uh, there's a vintage writing on there so she keeps that in her collection and red because it has red in it and red here as well which uh, one of the colors that she loves this is the double hinged uh, page over here and over here we have a notebook and then a tag on top with fabric sample here and a little tag over here with uh, dragonfly more collaging here with fabric as well and then over here uh, she has an envelope and uh, let's just look uh, what's inside this envelope so let's see inside here okay so over here she has her um, uh, tarot cards that I made from my originals and then also some uh, rune uh, bits uh, that I uh, made up as well and uh, over here she's using a cloth from her mother's uh, wedding gown uh, there was uh, a little bit of uh, leftover that her mother kept and she gave her a piece so she's using that when she's um, going to lay out her cards uh, she might put it here or her runes and uh, on the bottom I did uh, sign uh, the uh, journal when it was completed and um, here's the back of it sorry about 